Okay, so we have a couple of grouping techniques, excuse me, we have a couple of factoring techniques, uh, the GCF idea and the grouping idea. And so the next one deals with a situation where we have a degree two trinomial, three terms, all right, and specifically degree two. So we are talking about polynomials that look like this, AX squared plus BX plus C, and the A and the B and the C are basically any real number you can dream up. And so what you're looking at is I have four examples of degree two trinomials that we're gonna factor here pretty quick. But I just wanna go through and uh, identify all right, the fact that it is degree two, it is a trinomial, and in this case, A is equal to one, B is equal to two, and our C is technically negative eight. So there would be my A and my B and my C for that degree two uh, trinomial. Uh, for this one right here, again, it's degree two. It's got three terms. So what's A? Well, A is one, B is seven, and C would be 10. Okay, and on and on. My next example, again, I have three terms. It's degree two, right? So A is four, B is negative 12, and C in this case would be five for that particular one. And then last but not least, degree two, three terms. A is two, B is negative three, and C is negative five. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, now that we have identified what a degree two trinomial is and their respective coefficients, we now are gonna learn how to factor them. And there's two different ways. There's the AC method and the guessing and checking. We'll see them both. And then you can kind of decide which category you wanna fall into. And by the way, one last thing, yes, I did skip 5.2. Uh, basically, 5.2 is just like 5.3. The only difference is we're going to be talking about polynomials where the leading coefficient is 1. And in 5.3, we talk about leading coefficients are 2 and 4. But whatever, whatever we do to these guys will be the same thing we do to these guys. So that's why I'm just going to collapse it, save ourselves a, 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 um, a section, and just consider it all 5.3 stuff. All right, I just realized I'm off the grid there. So that's coming up next. We've identified degree two trinomials. Now we need to figure out what's the AC method and what's the guess and check method to factor them. Those will be in some new videos. See you then.